Hi again, thank you so much for clicking on and joining me for another word of encouragement. I hope you find these a little encouraging during this time. And today I wanna to talk to you about um, letting the water off your boat. Okay, so I love word pictures. So I'm gonna start first with this one time I was in Africa and we took out a canoe and water started coming on the boat. There was a leak. And we had to hurry up and get that water off the boat because of that canoe because what was happening is we were sinking. And when you sink in a river in Africa, you don't find friendly creatures below. So we really have to hurry up and do it because it's not good for you, all right? And so, but the same thing goes on in our life. We all take on water. It's a part of the tough news of what it means to be human, right? And so we are living through a time that most of us have never experienced before. It's a season of collectively taking on more in a shorter period of time. And so what that does to us, it causes our stress levels to go up. And when our stress levels go up, uh, stress, when we don't express it or we don't have ways to deal with it, it begins to manifest itself in different areas of our life. And so there's like physical manifestations. Um, you may be getting headaches. You may be not being able to sleep. You may be extra fatigued. You may be having back issues. Um, we can name so many of those things. And so um, I feel like it's way important. What you need to do is identify, like when that water was in the canoe, we had to identify what the thing was, it was a water and how to get it off the boat. And so begin to identify those factors in your life that are causing you that stress to feel like that you are sinking. And so um, for an example, it, it could be your work, it could be your home life, it could be election news, it could be maybe you're taking on water of somebody else's loss in their life or something like that. Those are examples of it. So what I want you to encourage you to do is to make a list. First, make a list of things that you can do to, um, once you identify those things that are causing your boat to like, sink, then the next thing you do is you make a list of those things that you can do in order to help alleviate some of that water. So maybe it's like, when I have that stressful conversation at work, then I'm gonna go take a 15 minute walk after that and just be able to decompress. Or maybe when I have that hard conversation with my spouse, then I'm going to check out and go sit in a bathtub for a five minutes or 10 minutes or whatever you need. You know, balance, finding that balance. And so what I want you to do is pair one of those stressors up with something that is self-care, that takes care, and you pair that up with one another. And it creates in your life de-stressing patterns and a new rhythm for you. And so I wanna encourage you to do that today and not sink. And you can go ahead and have that nice canoe trip. <laughs> okay, have a great day. Bye-bye for now.